Hi, um, I'm going to continue explanation of Kingdom Animalia. Platyhel mintens. Uh, Platyhel mintens is called usually called as flat worms because they are flat. Um, they are mostly marine, but we can also find them in fresh water and depth terrestrial. Mana daratan yang uh, berai dan juga lembap. Um, Doso ventrally flattened body. Doso ventral maksudnya daripada uh, mana leper lah, segi leper kan, kelebihan dia. Um, and then uh, okay, doso ventral eh. Kalau ventral ni kita tengok ventral ni, ah ni ventral, ni dosa. Uh, ventral bawah. So, daripada atas bawah memang dilepek. Okay. Uh, contoh kalau ikan. For fish. This is dorsal. This is ventral, ventral fin. Jadi, um, untuk flatworm. Cacing pipih ni. Uh, they are doso ventrally flat. And most, uh, uh, most platyhelminthes are parasites. For example, um, tapeworm. They can be scavengers and also predators. Eh? Tubularian. This is nampak, nampak cantik kan dalam laut ni. Tapi kalau you jumpa, dia boleh melekat dan melek. Dia, dia kebanyakannya dia dekat uh, terumbu karang. Dia akan makan. Lah. Based on body plan, um, Platinum mintens are triploblastic, so they have three germ layers. A silome, no silome, no silum. And they have bilateral symmetry, meaning they are bilateria, bilateria. So all of tri um, um, out of nine phylum, we have Porifera, Nidaria, and then Starting from platyhelminthes, they are all triploblastic. But all, uh, um, among triploblastic animals, only flatworms are acylomid. They don't have the body cavity. Um, what they have is gastrovascular cavity, yang lumen tu. Okay, dia ada tiga lapisan jerma. And this is the body uh, gastrovascular cavity panggil kalau ikut gambar biasa kita panggil lumen eh ni one opening maksudnya okay this is the mouth this is also the anus they don't have the uh, they don't have anus at the end of its body tak ada um excretory organ photonephridia hmm tubule eh ni tubule they have a very simple nervous system, so they can uh, reflect act on a stimulus to uh, for their defense. They don't have circulatory system, so the body muscle cannot be contracted, and locomotion are uh, usually by swimming. They have, they have a very simple digestive tract, but they have satu opening sahaja. Ni eh, opening dia. Um, because tenia species is the example of platinum mintens that we need to remember, so we are going to learn more, uh, a bit more about tenia species. So tenia species is a cape worm, cacing pita. Okay, cape worm, cacing pita. Uh, that uh, that is a parasite and need a hose. Need a hose to get nutrients. So how do they? How how can a tapeworm may stay in your digestive tract, your stomach, and or your intestines, um, uh, for a very long time? We uh, we need to do some operation. Eh, kena buka, kena operate, baru boleh keluarkan dia. And they can grow very long in our body. Um, sebab pertama they have the hook. Ini penyangkut. So Katalah, for example, this is our intestine, and the hook will anchor them to the uh, to our intestine. 
and then sucker uh, ni uh, to uh, apa um, absorb our nutrients but tu biasanya kalau ada uh, body kita kita ada cacing pita dalam badan kita uh, selalunya kita akan walaupun makan banyak kemungkinan kita akan tak naik berat lah eh? ataupun sebenarnya, sebenarnya bukan sebab kurus saja dan ada effect is malnutrition malnourish jadi kekurangan zat Next is nematoda. So if you can remember nematoda, uh, you metazoa, triploblastic, uh, and have cavity, but the cavity is fake. Nematoda can be found in um, almost all aquatic, uh, aquatic, either in marine, in freshwater, in body fluids, and tissues of animals. They are bilateral and have pseudo uh, and pseudocilomet. They have pseudocilum. They don't have segment. And the body is unsegmented. Sebenarnya pelatihan minta tadi pun boleh juga gunakan unseg unsegmented. Body. Uh, the example animal organism under nematoda phylum is Ascaris species, which is Uh, normally known as roundworm Ascaris species eh? Ascaris ni kita panggil cacing Kalau contohnya cacing kerawi Yang biasa lah yang biasa kita sebut Kalau siapa-siapa yang biasa pergi ke sawah Boleh jumpa cacing sutra uh, eh, eh sorry 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 ha, Cacing sutra um, Tapi bukan cacing tanah eh jadi uh, roundworm ni dia bentuk dia cylindrical lah ni bentuk cylindrical maksudnya dia ada bentuk bulat bentuk bulat yang memanjang lah, silinder macam ni eh ha, ni silinder lah kalau macam ni kalau tadi cacing pita dia pipih ok flat yang ni silinder so this is the difference between uh, a cylindrical shape dengan um, flatten shape So, the shape is cylindrical with tapered posterior. Posterior bahagian belakang. Ini ya, tapered. Maksudnya, bahagian anus atau pentil. Tapered. Blunt anterior, maksudnya depannya dia uh, uh, sedikit sedikit tumpul. Benda ni kalau tapered, dia tajam. Hmm. And uh, anterior end, bahagian sini ada tunjukkan civilization. Macam seolah macam ada kepala lah. Tetapi tak ada bentuk yang ber, uh, kepala yang sebenar. Kalau ada, dia akan jadi macam ni contohnya. Eh? Uh, jadi, dia tak ada. Nematoda, modes of nutrition. They are free living. Uh, they can be a parasite. And they can be a decomposer. Decomposer maksudnya uh, dia grazing lah. Tapi, kita gunakan dulu istilah decomposer sebab you belum belajar lagi pasal istilah lain. So, nematoda is decomposer and also parasite. Jadi, duduk yang dulu dalam perut, cacing-cacing, kerawit tu, tu semua adalah nematoda. So, they are parasite. They eat on your nutrients. So, ni perbezaan antara asilum. Antara ketiga jenis cacing yang kita belajar. Flatworm, uh, roundworm dengan annelida. Okay, the next one would be annelida. Eh. Uh, ni masih lagi nematoda, sorry. So, nematoda, the body is covered by tough cuticle. Dia ada muscle dah. Nematoda dah start ada muscle. Tapi, muscle yang dia ada adalah longitudinal muscle. Okay, dia punya ni. Sebab tu, pergerakan dia tak sama dengan pergerakan cacing tanah. Kita akan nampak jalur-jalur dia ni. Uh, absence of keta, sete. And no clitellum. Ini semua ni adalah dua structure yang kita boleh jumpa dalam annelida. No hydrostatic skeleton sebab dia memang tak boleh bergerak secara oh ya, uh, contoh macam uh, cacing tanah macam mana bergerak uh, tu contoh hydrostatic uh, movement skeleton eh they have complete digestive tract so they have mouth and anus ini beza dia dengan platyhelminthes you can see the advanced uh, advanced characteristics that nematode have compared to Uh, platyhelminthes 
This is a cross section eh. Ni yang kita panggil cavity eh. Ni lah yang selum ni. Ni lah selumnya. Ni selum. So this is the ectoderm. This is the mesoderm. And this is the endoderm. So the cavity here is lined up by endoderm and mesoderm. So this is the fake. A fake cavity. A fake selum. Nematoda usually reproduce sexually. They have separate female and male. Ha, maknanya dia bukan hermaphrodite. Kita boleh nampak beza antara female dengan male. And uh, usually female are larger than male. Contoh, you, you need to remember uh, nematoda. The importance of nematoda is causing disease called elephantiasis. Elephantiasis, uh, tolong ingat, apa, bear in mind that importance should, uh, importance is not, uh, importance Uh, can include any negative effects such as disease. Mm, so, elephantiasis is a disease that caused by Brugia malayi. Eh? Brugia malayi is a is a nematode. Maknanya dia daripada ia adalah disebabkan oleh cacing. So, what happen when Brugia malayi is a roundworm? It stay in the lymphatic lymphatic system lymphatic uh, lymphatic system either in the nodes or in the lymphatic vessel. So, it block. The lymphatic system. So when it blocks, the lymphatic fluids will be accumulated in the mm. tissue. So akan menyebabkan bengkak, swelling of limbs. Eh? You see? Okay. So that is the importance of nematoda. Okay, next is phylum Annelida. Annelida, uh, the most common annelids we know is the earthworm. Parotima species. Okay, cacing tanah eh, ini, ini yang biasa kita jumpa Ada banyak lagi yang ada lidah yang kalau kita uh, buat umpun-umpun, buat mancing tu Dan juga ada yang dalam laut So, ada lidah are triploplastic animals, bilateria dan and they have silam A very true silam uh, Ada lidah uh, can be detritive for uh, parasites, predators Uh, and also scavengers ni uh, contoh, maknanya dia boleh kalau predators maknanya dia makan haiwan lain yang lebih kecil ok, they can be a parasite parasite ni contohnya leech leech tu adalah lintah um, annelida has an elongated body with tapered end the anterior, bahagian depan dia show cephalization but no distinct head So, kalau satu lagi berbeza dia dengan nematoda, dia dah ada bentuk macam ring-ring. So, ini adalah muscular muscle. Dia dah ada muscular muscle. Sebab tu, bila dia bergerak, nampak kan dia bergerak uh, ni panjang, lepas tu ni berkecut, kecut ni. Hmm, lepas tu nanti kan sini pula berkecut, yang sini pula panjang. Jadi, dia punya pergerakan kalau awak nak tengok, awak boleh tangkap seko cacing tanah, tengok sendirilah macam mana dia bergerak. Covered, body covered by cuticles uh, sebab dia orang growing in the in the in the soil and they also have hydrostatic skeleton uh, they, okay. one thing special about annelida is they have metamoric eh, metameric body segmentation kena ingat eh ini kalau kena cerita tentang dia punya uh, unique characteristic annelida has metameric body segmentation uh, ataupun kalau ada soalan objektif yang berkaitan dengan Ciri-ciri unit annelida, metameric body segmentation is, is very unique towards annelida. Maksudnya, repetition of organ and tissue within each segment except head. So, kalau body dia panjang ni, ni kepala, ok, start daripada sini. Kalau dia satu-satu segment, ni segment ni sama dengan apa yang ada dalam ni. Sama eh. So, dia berulang sebab dia metameric. And each, each segment is separated by septum. Ni yang panggil septum. They have digestive tract, nerve cords and blood vessel. Penetrate the septum and run the animal lining. Sepanjang ni, digestive tract. Okay, ni digestive tract, the intestine. And then ni, semua ni, 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 ni. Yang ni, ni, ni dan ni akan repeat di sini. Ni ada septum kat sini. They have complete elementary canal. So, they have mouth and anus. Excretory system involve metanephridium. Uh, 
they have two sets of muscles. So this is um, something unique about Annelida and different from uh, nematodes just now. Because the nematode only have longitudinal section. This is nematode. Annelida, they have the circular and the longitudinal muscles. They have, uh, Annelita have closed circulatory system that have hemoglobin in red blood cell. So, almost similar to what we have. The difference might be something in the, 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 uh, the, the amount of the blood. The blood, the composition tu mungkin sedikit berbeza but they have the hemoglobin. Dorsal and ventral vessel are connected to the pairs of segmental vessel. They have heart and numerous tiny vessels for the exchange. They have seta, um, but absent in leech. Okay, seta ni dia macam ada unjuran yang kecil. Walaupun cacing tanah tu sebenarnya dia ada tapi kita tak nampak. Uh, tapi kalau leech, dia ni dia punya masa, ni leech, tapi kita dia tak ada. Their respiratory system is through skin, uh, moist skin. So gases uh, can diffuse through their moist skin. Eh? They have a um, simple nervous system and reproduction. So they are hermaphrodite. Uh, so they can change male to female for sexual uh, reproduction. Ni ada clitellum kat sini. Do you wish dia boleh cross? Cross, uh, cross breed. Uh, this clitellum produce a secret of mucus cocoon that carry the eggs to mate with sperm. Okay, this is the clitellum. Clitellum. Okay, uh, undergo fertilization. Rolls of annelida. Bila rolls of annelida, kita akan tengok spesifik kepada leech lah yang contohnya leech, lintah. So, uh, in medical use, uh, they have uh, leech produce hirudin, a protein. A protein that can prevent blood clotting. So, it dissolves blood clots. And this is used to treat bruised tissues ataupun any blood clot. Uh, blood clot uh, problem affects through. Used to drain blood that accumulates in tissues following certain injuries or surgeries. Eh? Tu ada sebab tu memang ada bekam lintah kan bekam. Annelids are also useful for agriculture because the presence of earthworm in our soil can increase the uh, fertility of the soil. Dia akan menyebabkan tanah tu lebih uh, ada kandungan udara kan? sebab dia bergerak dalam tu dan jadi aja baj ada baja sebab uh, cacing tanah ni dia akan um, swallow the, the the soil lepas tu dapat nutrients lepas tu dia akan uh, waste remove the remove the, the poop so, kan? Jadi dia bila dia keluarkan balik tu dia dah jadi baja. So it improve the fertility of the soil. Uh, improve aeration. Aeration eh yang nak sebut tentang uh, kegemburan. Gembur sebab dia akan ada udara dekat lubang laluan dia ni nanti dia akan tinggalkan yang akan ada aeration ada uh, pergerakan udara. So you can see, uh, you can look at this table that compare between these three phyla. Three phyla ni kita anggap, anggap, anggap sebagai uh, phyla yang melibatkan cacing. Okay, uh, cacing apa dalam bahasa Inggeris? Worm. Uh, worm. Platyal mintes, nematoda and annelida. Ini patutnya A lah kat sini. Please eh, tolong betulkan. 